On February 18, 2015, Florida Gateway College held a dedication of a memorial in honor of the 10 graduates of the college's law enforcement academy and the corrections program who gave their life in the line of duty. The ceremony was held at the college's public service training center in Olusty. Good afternoon. On behalf of Florida Gateway College, our president Chuck Hall, Florida Gateway College Board of Trustees, our faculty and staff, I'd like to welcome you to the dedication ceremony for our criminal justice memorial. A memorial that's dedicated to our graduates in honor, in honor of our graduates who have died in the line of duty that graduated from our basic law enforcement or basic corrections program. At this point, if I could get everybody to please rise as the Baker County Sheriff's Office posts a flag and lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. All uniformed personnel, attention! Present on. If you'll remain standing for a few more moments while Father Michael Pendergraft from Epiphany Catholic Church leads us in an invocation. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for the men and women who answer the call to serve. For serving means sacrifice, putting oneself in danger to protect others. Serving also brings the satisfaction of a job well done helping people during some of the most critical moments of their lives, occasionally in moments of life and death. Protect all who accept these responsibilities. Today we remember those and lift up those who have given their lives in service of others. We thank you for that service and that sacrifice. Bless their families who also sacrifice. Bless those who prepare others to serve and protect all of us. And as always, we pray for the safe return each day of the women and men who serve. Amen. 
please be seated. At this time, I'd like to introduce some of our special guests we have with us today. Starting here on my left on the front row, we have Florida Gateway College's president, Dr. Chuck Hall. We have the college's vice president of occupational programs, Ms. Tracy Hickman, Dr. Tracy Hickman recently, sorry. We also have Mr. Stephen Benson, vice president of business services. We have Mr. Jay Swisher, coordinator of our criminal justice programs. We just met Father Michael Pendergraf. Starting on the second row, we have Columbia County Sheriff Mark Hunter. We have Baker County Sheriff, Sheriff Joey Dobson. We have the Third Judicial Circuit State Attorney, Jeff Sigmeister. Florida Gateway College's Executive Director of the Foundation, the College Foundation, Mike Lee. We have our Criminal Justice Senior Staff Assistant, Kathy Wallsmith. We have Florida State Prisons Warden, John Palmer. Columbia Correctional Institute's Warren, Warden, Monroe Barnes. And we have Assistant Chief from the Lake City Police Department, Gerald Butler. Thank you and thank everybody from coming, for coming. And now at this time, Sheriff Mark Hunter has been gracious enough to deliver our keynote address. Sheriff Hunter. Thank you, John. You know, um, it's an honor and, and I, I consider it a privilege to, to be asked to speak at such an event. Um, when John called me and asked me if I would come out and speak, um, a flurry of things g g went through my mind. And I sat down and started trying to type out a speech. And what do you say at, a, at an event like this? And after about three different drafts, I said, you know, there's no way I'm going to get up there and read from a paper. It's best to speak from the heart. I believe in, in these types of events and during those flurry of, of, of memories that I've had I, th I thought back to the times whenever I've spoken to the Academy uh, cadets and the recruits and telling them you know we ask a lot of our law enforcement community and our public safety folks and this is the ultimate sacrifice that these that these folks have given. We never know when it's gonna gonna happen. You know, one of the uh, one of the men on that on the wall uh, hadn't even completed the academy whenever his life was taken. So it's um it's tragic, but we sign up for this. We volunteer to do this, and thank God that we have men and women that will sign up and continue to provide that hedge of protection against harms, the, the evils and the harms that are out there for our, for our folks so we can have a, a safe community. In the military, we have a saying over there that we'll leave no one behind and we'll never forget. And I'm glad to see the, the academy put forth the effort that they have on never forgetting. And I, I commend you and, and Dr. Hall for supporting this. And as these recruits that come in here to go to class, they have to walk by this monument to the men and the women that have given all for their country or for their state or for their agency or for their community. And I see that we have some of the family members of, of, of the fallen folks here. And to you, thank you. Um, there's nothing that we can say or do that will ever take the hurt away. And uh, I've sat with some of you through those, those hard times. And um, this is our way of saying that, you know, thank you, and we will never forget. Thank you, everyone, for attending, and may God bless.
At this time, we'll read the names of our fallen graduates. Family members, as your loved one's name is called, please stand to be recognized. William T. Williams, Jr., Columbia County Sheriff's Office, July 6th, 1976. Charles A. Cooper, Florida Department of Corrections, September 15th, 1988. Charles B. Stafford, Miami Springs Police Department, June 11th, 1991. Jerome A. Williams, Florida Department of Corrections, July 26th, 1995. Calvin J. Powell, Jasper Police Department, September 25th, 1999. Jefferson H. Davis, Columbia County Sheriff's Office, May 30th, 2002. Renee D. Azure, Union County Sheriff's Office, August 6th, 2002. Adam M. Sanderson, Florida Department of Corrections, March 6, 2009. Chad A. Reed, Dixie County Sheriff's Office, January 14, 2010. Reuben H. Thomas III, Florida Department of Corrections, March 18th, 2012. In vain we call, they have passed into the light which is beyond the valley of the shadow of death, but their virtues are written upon the tablets of love and memory. As we close, I'd like to thank everyone for coming and showing your support for the college, our programs, but most importantly, showing your support for the family members of our graduates whose names are on that monument. I'd like to tell you that this memorial was funded entirely through private donations. I'd like to thank everybody that contributed in any way, shape, or form to making this memorial a reality. I'd like to thank Mike Lee with the College Foundation for helping us make this a reality. I'd like to thank you again for coming. Feel free to take a tour of the facility if you'd like. Make yourself at home. Our gym in particular is nice and warm. And I'll tell you, have a nice day. Thank you.